Hey, it's Eamon with IP Exchange at Embedded World 2024. We're on the IP Exchange booth. I'm here with Fabrizio from Sarasense, and they've got a bunch of demos here based around the ENS220 pressure sensor, I'm assuming. Uh, so, Correct. Fabrizio, take it away. What have, we, what have you brought? Yes, yeah, sure. So, today we want to show you two very high demand applications uh, based on our pressure sensor ENS220. And one will be the drop detection box we will show in a while. And the second will be the height difference made with a, say, a dem air balloon demo. But uh, the unique characteristics of our pressure sensor um, are not only um, um, adapted to address this kind of application, but we can uh, even examine uh, other applications like uh, filter clogging or liquid level or anything regarding uh, uh, height difference uh, or any uh, change of fluid in motion. So, um, but now focusing on the two applications, uh, we can see the first one is the drop detection application. So we have a box and uh, our team from Eindhoven uh, has been uh, working hard to realize the full solution. As you can see, we have the board here and uh, this board integrates the uh, pressure sensor on the top. And basically, thanks to the improved algorithm, proprietary algorithm developed mm -hmm. by our team and thanks to the high output data rate of the sensor uh, it can really detect uh, the, um, any events happening and in this case it will be uh, detecting the impact of the box when it falls so for all drop detection application uh, and now the market is very hungry about this application because they want to know if a good yep. is transported um, in a good way that means uh, ensuring integrity mm -hmm. and reliability from the uh, say um, shipping yeah uh, brands. Well, we've seen all the videos on YouTube and TikTok exactly. and yeah. basically I can show you cool. so we can just let it fall from the height we want and as you can see the box at the beginning it's blinking this means it detects the impact and then thanks to the algorithm I mentioned before that is based both on spikes from the impact and from a height um, difference it can detect properly the height and the event itself excellent and the second one yep the hot air, hot air balloon we can see here we can change sorry the position of the balloon mm -hmm. and Okay, and you can see the sensitivity and accuracy mm. of the uh, pressure and the height uh, displayed on the screen. And this means that um, the sensor is very accurate since like um, one hectopascal, it's less than 10 centimeters, so it can really detect the smallest variation in height. Excellent. And I also see that there is temperature measured here as well? Exactly, because the sensor also internally uh, uh, includes a temperature sensor, super accurate. Uh, we are talking about uh, pl uh, plus minus 0 0,1 degrees Celsius. And this is, let's say, the, the leader in the market mm. because uh, we cannot find so far at mm -hmm. least uh, another temperature sensor with this accuracy. So sometimes the two things are combinated and the temperature monitoring is often a requirement from the customer or from whatever application we are realizing. Cool, so lots and lots of applications that you can use this in. Thank you so much for bringing along the both of these demos there. I mean, we've had the balloon demo in other videos before, which actually had a, a balloon filled with, I guess, helium on size sensor stand at sensor plus test. So lovely to have that demo on the IP Exchange booth for, exp for Embedded World 2024. So thank you, Fabrizio, for, for coming. And um, yeah, come check out Science Sense. Are you with my engineers, sir? Eh?